Yes, Sparkle Fandango! Kingdom Hearts! Part two! Exactly. It's the part you've been waiting for, That's the raft part. The raftening! <laughs> Is that something to get excited about? Like, yay, we're going on a raft! Every we made a raft! Hey, this game's kind of boring. <laughs> we're also... We're not in the part where people like it, I guess. Okay. We haven't had enough Little Mermaid other than you and my purple top. I know, I have, I have Little Mermaid hair now. I was thinking it was kind of like super villain hair. It is. Like, I, I'd be like, next time. Uh, next time, Batman. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Definitely. I, well, Poison Ivy. Two Never mind. Share one. Okay. Oh, God. Part of each lives. This guy no is what. so bi. He Come is on, wanting to fuck to everybody in this game. He's just like, <laughs> that they're kids. I shouldn't say that. But whatever. That's your path. Cool beans. He's definitely like, it's got this really weird like, I don't understand it. Okay, maybe it's a maybe it's this is another cultural thing that I don't get with like anime, but whatever. Okay, whatever. We're playing this game. Kingdom <laughs> Hearts. Look, it's Disneyland. I love Disneyland. I have only been to Disneyland one time. I went for Christmas and it was amazing. Oh yeah? Do yeah. they do, like decorate and go bananas? They it makes Christmas feel like Christmas. We live in Texas and everyone's It's like, like eighty degrees. And we just like, rains. We just pretend yeah. to have Christmas like, things. Ooh, we'll light a fire and then put the air conditioning on to compensate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas, I, I like Christmas and I I lived in um New York State for a while. And I've been also to Colorado during Christmas. We used to go to Crested Butte, Colorado. Uh, and that's real cute during Christmas. And it, ooh, it's cold and there's snow. And you make snow ice cream and you drink hot drinks on purpose. And ooh. But here that's now, beautiful. it's too hot here to do that kind of nonsense. And we are both unapologetic Tim Burton fans. Yeah, like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if he. I don't care if he's not hipster chic right now. Fuck you. I like Tim Burton. And for the Halloween Christmas season, they make the haunted mansion, Nightmare Before Christmas Mansion. It's what? so cool. <laughs> I want to do that. You want to do that? I I will do it a thousand times. It's okay. so great. Um. Send us money. <laughs> We're too poor. Okay. So <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to do a thing for you guys. Rumble pack. Because look what I got. Oh. What? <laughs> it's Space Mountain. <laughs> it's a vintage Space Mountain shirt. It's amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on eBay. So you guys can help Allison and I go to... Disneyland. Disneyland for Christmas. We could do a whole Sparkle Living special. Like our road trip. We could film our whole road trip and like Sparkle Living along the way. And if you don't care, oh, you my can God. just Kayla Crow at Gmail me some PayPal money. Yeah, whatever. And just I tell me though. Too. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, like write a note on it that's for Sparkle Fandango trips because... Dude, we could go through all these like pissant West Texas towns and like New Mexico and be like glitter everywhere, and all the yokels will be like, ooh, 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 ooh. and we'll be like, ha ha, Sparkle Fandango, ha ha, that's amazing. Let's do that. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Watch out, Tombstone, Arizona. Yeah. Watch out, the thing. We're coming up in ya. We're gonna glitter the the thing. We're gonna glitter all your things. Okay, I'm sorry, we're playing Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> but yeah, but just be very clear because I'm also throwing a Halloween party. Kayla's Halloween parties are epic. They are um, immaculately decorated. And is that is that the dude from Aladdin? Oh no, this is some other dude. Okay, uh, they're crazy decorated. Everybody wears a costume. Everybody. I Everyone. think last time we had this really cool Gears of War. Yeah. Allison and Jason were best couple with their Moonrise Kingdom outfits. 
I had two costumes. Yeah, Kayla does costume changes like Cher. It's and amazing. so at first I was a Pikachu until I poured fake blood all over myself that during my hilarious. karaoke song. But it was it was Sipple and Ollie themed. Yes. It was fake, fake blood. blood. You move me. You like, rock me like you the rock real. me like the real thing, which I looked up, and, and it's, it's amazing. A, it's adorable. And so I did that while covering myself with fake blood during my song. Yeah, and it was. I love you so much. And then I was <laughs> maybe had one too many special juice packs, and um. My sister just put on a blue wig and a cute dress and said I was Katy Perry after giving me a shower at the party. She did. I remember <laughs> I went in there and I was like, I just wanted to check on Kayla because she had been gone and I she was... I can't say about her state of <laughs> mind, but I wanted to just go see if she was okay. And I go in there and her sister was like, yeah, what do you want? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just want to, I just want to track on Kayla. She's like, she's being taken care of. I didn't realize it was so cantankerous. I was like, okay, I'm sorry. Just, hi, Kayla. And then Kayla came out and she was like, hey, Allison. I was like, oh, I love you. And then I left because I was scared of your sister. And I probably was in the middle of a co costume, costume change. change. You were, you were, <laughs> you're in the closet, you were in your closet <laughs> Like inside of it. <laughs> and yeah, maybe you were naked. Maybe things. Maybe, maybe. stuff. Nothing. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> so yeah, but Halloween is a big deal. It's a big deal. I'm, mm. I'm already working on it. Like every weekend I work on one what, day a week. I work on Halloween party. It's... My favorite holiday of forever. What am I supposed to be doing? <coughs> that guy's just throwing He's, shit at me? He wants you to do a technique. You lock on to the moving object. I was trying. With your R1 or R2? I am trying to lock on with... I think he's going to kill you just playing a game. Can I just fuck him up? All right, no. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. What's our job? <sighs> I gotta. Okay, that would be great. Oh, our name isn't Sarah. It's Sora. Yeah, Oops. it's Sora. <laughs> they only took one game to figure out. So. Yeah, tell me something else. I went to the mall, and I got a really. I don't go to the mall often. Because I, it's terrible. But. There's also things at the mall that I like. There's stores at the mall, but the mall itself is terrible. Yes. There's just like armies of thugs and people walking by. The okay. You do this while I tell people how it is. One finger to Jesus. Everybody else is how it is. If you are walking in a public place and you're with your friends and you're walking five abreast, fuck you. You are not the most important thing in the universe. If someone wants to go faster than you or maybe go around you and you're sitting there like fucking reservoir dogs, you are being an asshole. Don't do it. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, but I don't even Just know. Just don't do it. And the mall is like five ladies with strollers going slower than goddamn Christmas. I don't, all of the rage, just all of the rage. Just, I will tell people, excuse me nicely because maybe they're, you know, mentally deficient and can't figure out that they, you know, their experience of the world is not where the world stops. This isn't where the world stops. Other people exist around you. Anyway, that. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. So do you know what he's talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. Ugh. Run. Don't talk to that guy anymore. Don't talk to that guy anymore. So, um. But yes, you went to the mall. I went to the Sorry. mall. Sorry. But your mall is like this weird 
I don't have your, the same mall experiences as you do. You don't have the, with this, like, just, like, five thugs that are following you and catcalling. <laughs> and and then there's, like, the, Never. the hordes of women with children just, you know. And whatever. You have kids. I understand. You just get swirled. Like, what would just, we like, call exhausted. it? Apparently, we want to call it Exalisville. The raft? Excalibur. We've got to name the raft? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts. <sighs> How do you delete things? Um. L one. L one. Yeah, do that and hit. Okay. I don't know. It's Excalibur. Whatever this game. How do you make it say okay? Right there. Excalibur and. <laughs> Excalibur and do you know oh, what the ampersand is? Tell me. It's a combination of E and T at etc. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's what an ampersand is. So yeah, I never had that experience at a mall. You don't? I get to share No, but I do look at it and I go. Deal? Most of these people are really bland and like yes, monoculture on parade. And I'm like, how are so many people like this? That is what the world is like. Like, it's not my experience of the world. No, because your set of friends is this. Yes. <laughs> and so, oh man, you, you jerk, man, you broke you, my bridge. Do you need to go fuck him up? Go fuck him up. Oh, there's the raft. Okay. Right, but I'm in a race right now. Oh. I need to get on top of those palm trees. Why? So you can win the race. Oh. I don't think you're gonna win. Don't Jump. don't tell me what I could do. <laughs> wah 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 wah. That was a bee and puppy cat joke. If you have never seen oh, bee, and, bee and puppy cat, you should watch Bee and Puppy Cat. It's the funniest. Wait, go down. You probably have to go. I don't think you can get up there. Mirror's edge this. That's <laughs> uh, bad. And so, yeah. Be and Puppy Cat on the YouTube. It's a hilarious show. I can't wait till it turns on the y TV. Yeah, I want it to become a show. What? Is this a secret lair? I don't know what I have to do after that star. Do I have to wait for my friend? Is that all you had to do? I don't know. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't play the game right. I, I think you. I think you are gonna have to do it. Are you climbing a tree? <laughs> oh, you can't get on top of him that way. <sighs> it's not gonna let you because you cheated. That's what you get for being a cheater. That's what you get for being a cheater. Ooh, another secret thing. How do you push things? Just walk up to him. I think. Yeah. Maybe you can't do anything yet. Like you got. That's a another level or something. This game is totally ripped off Legend of Zelda, by the way. Oh, you're gonna have to go around. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't walk around anything. Yeah. How do I change the view? Uh, your right stick. See, right stick. Oh. It's cool. Okay, so you went to the mall. Oh, oh look, there's a thing. And I went to this. So I went to JCPenney's and I got a really cute dress that I wore at Snuggle Fandango. It's so cute and it matches my hair and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And the freaking lady was like, oh, I love your hair and I think you're just so beautiful. I, and then she said, I wish my mom was like you. And I'm like, what? Fuck you. Oh my God. What? Really? Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, shit. Was, was she like 13? She was obviously like a small human. Not like 13, but college. 19? Could you have a 19-year-old? Me? No. You couldn't. I could. Yeah. I could have a 19-year-old child. Okay, so we had to buy name the ship Halfwind. Good, I didn't want to call it Exalibur. 
Dude, is that what you're racing for? That's what we were racing for. Kingdom Hearts. <sighs> yeah, take that. Oh, take that. What do you have to do now? I don't know. Probably have to find someone. Oh, okay. And ask them a question. Oh, get on that zip line. Oh. I didn't do it right. It's okay. All right. I don't see anybody. Where's the people? Oh, hey, talk girl. to that lady. Talk to that. <laughs> Talk to that amorphous. You're for a seagull egg, three, three mushrooms, mushrooms two, coconuts. two coconuts, three fish, and fill this up with drinking water. Okay. All right. You know, some of those are in those. There's a mushroom in there. Yeah. Now you can. Yeah. Okay. Now you can do that stuff. And then, um. So yeah. So she just said I look like a mom. I was like, what? <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't look like a mom, maybe I do. Tell me, internet, do I look like a mom? I don't think you look like a mom, but that's like asking someone if they're pregnant. Don't, just don't ask anyone if they're pregnant. Don't tell me uh, I look like a cool don't mom. Don't, le yeah, like, ah, oh, geez, I wish, I probably, when I was younger, said all kinds of horrible things to people, but that was kind of a dick move. And then, uh, then I went over to the Clinique counter because I like their makeup. Okay. And I was all like, yeah, get my they, special deal. Yeah, they have good, um, they usually have really good concealer. They have good concealer. Nobody cares. All right. Nobody cares. <laughs> but. Sorry, internet. The lady I got as my, fa my makeup consultant was very strange. Yeah. And when she would... Maybe they'll hire me. Probably. <laughs> but she, when she would uh, wait for me, like, she would be like, oh, you do... I was like, yeah, I'm buying more makeup because I'm going to go do a recording online. And she's like, oh, really? And then she did this. Every time she was thinking of what she wanted to say. And she smelled so bad. Oh no, it's like what? Like, like poops? Like she ate some poop in her mouth. Oh no. And then just let oh, it sit no. there for three days. Oh no. <laughs> and she was like. Like she had never been to the dentist before? Oh my gosh, it was terrible. And so the thing about Clinique is like, it's like nice makeup stuff. Like yeah. it's mall makeup. And, and she was there like, And I told her my colors, but she insisted on making sure. And so I was getting that whole makeup. Oh no, she did the makeup for you? She did the whole makeup thing for me and did me, made me beautiful, more beautiful than I am naturally. You're very naturally beautiful. And it was one of those things and she would be like, oh, you're a teacher? license. <laughs> I don't know, but that's adorable. <laughs> so it was a very surreal trip to the freaking mall. And I, I just don't like the people who like are always trying to sell, <sighs> judging me. Like they're, you're selling, you're sell, selling like hair extensions. Why yeah, are you why are you me? such a jerk? Why are you judging me? Um, what's that, the Saturday Night Live skit about the women who work at the Gap? What? Did you, you're... No. You don't know about that. I think it's Chris Farley was on it, Adam Sandler. And they would, they would be like Gap. And I worked at the Gap in high school. And I was too weird and completely nonchalant about selling clothes. I would go, hey, do you need any help with something? And somebody would be like, no, I'm just looking. I'd be like, all right, cool. And then I would leave them the fuck alone because that's what people want. They want to just find jeans. Like, oh, this is my size. I'm going to go to that room with the really bad lighting. And I'm going to put them on 
And if you're me, you cry a little bit because it's <laughs> it doesn't fit right. Because it, no jeans are made for women who have asses in this country. I can't and find then you, anything. Then you cry a little bit, and then you buy or don't buy the jeans. You don't want some. I don't like some socks with that. No, I don't. I want to go in the room with the stuff and cry oh. and then leave. Or if you buy these $12 underwear, you get a free makeup caddy. Yeah. It's like, how many makeup caddies do I need? Yeah. No, thank you. I you can buy a 13. Spiral, you get a spiral day planner if you sign up for a credit card. No. Don't do it. Don't do it, kid. So, yeah. They Anyway, they have a skit where they, um, yeah. <laughs> Make fun of the people. Who From the gap. Know. Yeah, can you see her? Oh my god, she's so... Ah, wait, why am I attacking things while I'm trying to jump? Oh, because I'm hitting the attack button. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, got can't I can't find some eggs. I only found one mushroom. I got two fish. I didn't get the third one. Okay. I can't remember the other thing she wanted. Uh, Clean drinking water. Clean drinking water. Did you go up in this shit right here? I tried. It didn't do anything for me. I've got to invert the controls. I keep the controls are. I gotta invert these bitches, motherfucker. Oh, it's too confusing. I wish I could invert them. Um. So, oh, yeah. you know what? I bet Jeff has been playing on these controls, and the controls are. He's weird and inverts all the controls. <laughs> That's so. I love him though. Never mind. I'm not going up here. Counterintuitive. It is. It's really. It's like, uh, oh, were you a longshoresman? Like you do everything like you're on a boat. I don't even know what that means. You're adorable. Because when you went the boat to go left, you have to make yes. It, or like, like when you're driving a horse. Yeah. When you're driving a horse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. All right, I'm many swimming horses. around. Maybe you'll find another fish. But like. Yeah, so that was my mall experience. That sounds like a disaster. I We should all do things on the internet. Yeah, I buy clothes on the internet from now on because... <sighs> woof. I can't go to... Okay, li okay. Pants, you have to... Okay, I can't... I obviously cannot do this. All right, I got to get out of here. They're not going to let me swim around the island. Pants do not fit ladies. For realsies, ladies. Because a fashion... Okay, here's what people do in fashion. They make things for a size um, zero lady. So, uh, do you know any size zero ladies? I don't. But apparently they exist. They're 13. And then they just scale them up. So... Um, if you, they just add inches. Well, that's not how it works. I don't, it's not like, okay, here's size zero. And then like, if you're a size eight, it's like, oh, here. That's not how it works. Cause it does this. <laughs> it does like, oh, I have an ass. Anyway, bitch, bitch, bitch. Yay. <laughs> About time. I missed it. <laughs> no, Break don't it pick it up. Don't thing. pick it up. Put it down. I want to jump on top of it. And then I had a dream the other day. I want to go up in there. Yeah. Oh. Sword it. Oh, that's not for the quest, though. But I found it. Okay. I'm sorry. And you had a dream. Yeah. But it was kind of like a lucid dream. Ooh, those are cool. So, like... Um, I was in having cuddle moments. Fucking far in the dream or in no, for real? No, in days? real life. Okay. Like uh, there was a a hand on my on my belly. Okay. And the person whose hand it belonged to did a little dream giggle. And in, what? No, like how kind of like my dog. He goes. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> okay. In yeah. His, in his dreams. Yeah. Like the person I was with did like a. <laughs> And his dreams. And my lucid dream with the hand on belly was like, there must be a hilarious Laffy Taffy joke written 
in pimple braille on my stomach. That's why they're laughing. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you just had zits? And then they were like, oh, yeah, okay. And then the dog walked up to the, okay, okay, mustache, mustache. Are driving me nuts. <laughs> like, and then... <laughs> Kayla. <laughs> that was my lucid dream. That, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> I'm so weird. You're so weird. <laughs> but in a wonderful and then way. We were. I was totally loopy after school the other day, and they were like, oh my goodness, I, you're so loopy on work days. I was like, I know. And then. I was like, I could be normal. And so I opened like my Carl Sagan book and I was like, I'm just going to be in bed reading. <laughs> I'm like, it's not normal if you tell me that you're doing it. That's how I feel all the, all the time. Like, <laughs> I want to just do this thing and I'm doing this thing and la la la. And then I look around and people are sort of like. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> today in the Dow Jones <laughs> NPR. <laughs> I kind of like NPR. I no, I love it. NPR. I'm a little it's bit addicted to Radio Lab and Radio TED Talks. Lab. Radio Lab and TED Talks. Yes, those are my favorite. They're pretty good. Can I talk to this dude? I was, oh, and he just wants to fight. Fuck him. I was listening to a radio lab that said, like, if people didn't tell you the sky was blue, you would never know that it was blue. Yeah. How you would just it? think it's that it's the sky color. Yeah. It's just sky color. But you went, oh, OK, it's blue. I'm like, interesting. It's not blue all the time. It's only a blue part of the time. Right. Stupid atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid oxygen containing atmosphere that it enables me to survive yeah so there you go for that <laughs> world what contest are we gonna do for people to uh get sparkle fandango stuff i don't know i don't i'm too busy but to figure out all this. buy this shirt on ebay okay <laughs> that's your contest you win the ebay contest you win the contest <laughs> okay like uh. you should just like us because we're your friends and you're invited to the Halloween party if you're cool. If you're cool, though, th we have stories of people coming to parties that are like <laughs> bleeding drug addicts. You will get kicked <laughs> the fuck out. Now, we may be adorable and we may be in like Pikachu costumes. We will fuck you up. So shenanigans elsewhere. Yeah. Am I, I wanted to be a fry guy. This Halloween, but I couldn't figure out how to pull it off. It ruins my life. That'd be cute. I help you. I have some weird past boyfriend stories. Am I gonna have to choke a bitch for one of them? One I want to do right. is a strange one. Okay. Um, I dated this guy, and like, I'm a little bit self-conscious about my weight sometimes. I think it's like a natural thing for all humans to just be like. Yeah, I, I have I things wish, about myself that I don't particularly like. And OK, I wish maybe I could eat the entire thing of Oreos and also not have rolls on my back. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm always like I'm very less for lifey. Yes. Like I'm like. I want to have yeah. all the experiences, but also be healthy. Yeah. So, but it's tough, and it doesn't work that way. And I'm very like, wah, 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 wah. yeah, like trying to find the balance between both. Yeah, it's tough because I do. Like, I just want to live all the life and be really super happy, and yet, healthy. Feel, yeah, so that I'm all, I can be ha happy also by having health. Yeah. So I struggle, just like everybody does. Yeah, on um, certain things, sure. And s that's always the war. But like, I'm like, I would like to maybe be just like five pounds lighter, not not a ton. So I'm gonna come back, and they're like, Oh, okay. Well, you might as well just stop eating. And I go, What? They're like, 
You can just look at the sun and get all your food nutrients from the vitamin D. And then he was telling me how he just stared at the Wait, sun. Wait, this really happened? I dated this guy. Yeah. In the past, it's not the new one. Okay, because I was going to make so much fun of him. <laughs> no. I'm like, <laughs> no, these There's are all this thing called guys. science that you should totally check out. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. No, this is just like a, a passing fling. The one, I will tell you when it's the one now. Okay. Like, Laffy Taffy, totally now. Okay. This is past. Okay. That I just think you would find totally unbelievable. And he, he said you could just look at the sunshine. No, he said he did for a month. He didn't eat for a month. Did he drink water? Yes. Did he lose like a zillion pounds? He just said he was healthy. Well, why did he stop but after a month if you can just live that way interminably? Because barbecue is delicious. Oh, right. Right. I don't understand it. I, I, I think that there's some shenanigans afoot there. But I was like, you're, you're telling me this? <laughs> like, just, like, hey, Kayla, like, mm, could you just stop eating for a while and look at the sun? That, just stare at the sun for like minutes. I'm like, okay. Awesome. <laughs> that guy is a no. And then uh, Allison said she was feeling cantankerous. I, I I have a little bit of rage over the the job search. It's making me a little ragey because it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Oh, and I had a thing that I wanted to say, uh, talk about that. I want to I want to produce a um, comedy webisode. Thing that's kind of like, you know, on the internet, but yeah. hilarious and chronicles the struggles of the creative people in the world who have to work in a cubicle. And uh, yeah, and so it makes me feel. I hey, I think I see that egg shit. <gasps> oh, sorry for cursing children. Go get it. Yay, we found something. Okay, and you can climb up those trees. If you can get to it, you can climb up a tree. Deal. I think. Okay, so, uh, or go out on that island and then go across on the bridge. There's a bridge. Okay, so tell me about your thing that you want to, your other boyfriend. No, this is an, an ex guy I dated. Okay. The, and uh, he was interesting. Okay. And he lived in Austin, and he works for a local radio station. And things were going actually kind of okay a long time ago. His, now, everyone's going to think terrible thoughts about me. I can't. Oh, because you can't. Uh, yeah. Okay, then hop over. Wait, is that the thing you're supposed to get? Seagull egg. Okay. Do you have everything now? Fresh um, water. You need fresh water? Oh, hookers. I was going to look for things. It's and okay. I think I only have two fish. Oh, you need a third fish? Well, you probably get fresh water in that waterfall. Do, what waterfall? There's a waterfall over there. Go up that bridge. So you can hear it. It's right there. Go get in that water. And then go to your items, maybe. How? Do you want me to do it? Okay, you tell me the story. And so, everyone's going to think I suck, but I dated this guy named Jason Dick. But this was, like, literally 20 years ago, and he's a local radio DJ. <laughs> and not 20 years ago, 10 years ago. <laughs> it's not that long ago. It's like in the 70s, you know, how people were. WKRP in Cincinnati. And Go so ahead. we were dating for about a month. It was going fine. I wouldn't call him my boyfriend at all. And so I was like, all right, we're dating. It's going fine. And then I he does the local morning show. So I was listening to it on the way to work. And he was saying about how he had this great Memorial Day weekend. And him and one of his friends... 
decided to become an item and he didn't know how to tell the girl he'd been seeing for a month me on the radio to the whole city of Austin and everyone of our friends in our mutual thing knew we were seeing each other and so knew that that's who they were talking about and so I was like I texted him no problem I was like no problem got it message received done oh my goodness he milked that for a month like literally a month what do you mean like just talking about how on the radio show of how he's going to do it and finally he wrote me a message on myspace like a month Uh later about uh there's the fish i see it do i just have to like go up to it or something touch it touch the fish okay and then go give it to this chick yeah and so we were like what not that chick the other chick what other chick the chick around the on the boat yeah okay um and so and it was this terrible letter about how the heat this relationship he's in probably won't work out and if i'm into it uh He'd love to date me again after he he had his chance doing this one. How do you feel about this, Allison? Did he... Um, so I had heard that he did something else, though. What was this? Where he was um, naming... Oh, he that was like a year later. A year later, when Allison and I were friends at this, not a year later, but like. Try to do that thing. Can you ride on that zip line? Is it not going to let you? Okay, there you go. That's cool. Go ahead. So, yeah. No, this is like five years later. So, uh, his new friend on the radio show was like, hey, I'm a. Wondering, like, all the girls you ever slept with or something. And he just started saying first names, including mine. I'm like, what? This is crazy. Well, see, I think that there is a... There's everybody... Hmm. No. I'll just say this. date me now yeah be nice to you just be nice you know and it's fine they want to they don't want to see you anymore and they're like hey i don't really want to see you anymore i'm sorry about that that's reasonable but that kind of shenanigans that's not funny that's not funny fucking dick yeah anyway long game watch your back forever Anyway, what do we have to do now? <sighs> Mushrooms and coconuts. God damn it. This game's kind of... Forever. Didn't that happen already? <laughs> <sighs> Where do you have... This is... This is... Okay. Everybody requested this game. Thank you for requesting this game. Thank you for caring what we I, do. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so fucking boring. We're going to play something... Sorry. More bad, uh, more different. Maybe there's more exciting levels later on. Maybe this is just the tutorial level and we can't get out of it because we're too busy <laughs> talking, talking about, about stuff. Oh, uh, I love you. I love you too. I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. Let's let's hang out. Else. Yeah, <laughs> let's do something else. Write us. So, yeah, like, comment, share. Tell some people that maybe haven't heard of the show that you think could like it so we can get our numbers higher and we could take a trip to Disneyland for Christmas. Yeah. It's going to be so romantic. Oh, my goodness. And you could ride Space Mountain for free. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, jokes on the Internet. I'm just kidding about fighting you and ruining your life. 